Greetings, First Church children and any visitors that we might have today. This is our day for fun stories. I'm going to read um, a book called Christopher the Holy Giant, which is by Tommy DePaulo. And I don't usually put religious-based stories in our fun stories, but I love Tommy DePaulo and I hope you do. And we have probably all of his religious-based books down in our children's library. Um, the copyright of this book is by Tommy DePaulo in 1994, and he is both the author and the artist. This is a story about a saint. In the Methodist faith, we don't really recognize saints, but a lot of other religions do. And a lot of religious people, even non-Catholics and non-Episcopalians will put a St. Christopher medal in their vehicle because he is actually the saint of travel. Well, let's hear how he became that. So sit back and enjoy. A long time ago in the land of Canaan, there lived a giant known as Reprobus. Because he was so big and strong, Reprobus wished to serve the greatest and most powerful king in all the world. So he set off to find him. Before long, he came to a glorious city. Who is the ruler of this place? Reprobus asked. The greatest king in all the world, the people answered. And Reprobus said, then it is he I wish to serve. And he did. One night, a minstrel sang before the court, and in his song, the name of the devil was mentioned again and again. And every time the king heard the devil's name, he made the sign of the cross, which is like this. O oh, mighty king, said Reprobus, why do you do this? And the king replied, I fear the devil and his power over me, and so I cross myself so that he won't harm me. If the king fears the devil, then the devil must be greater and more powerful than he, said Reprobus to himself. I shall go and seek this devil and ask if I can serve him. Well, Reprobus traveled for many months until he came to the edge of a vast desert. And there he met a fearsome creature. What are you doing? asked the creature. Repro Reprobus answered, I am looking for the devil because I have heard he is the mightiest of all and I wish to serve him. And the creature answered, then come with me. I am the devil. As Reprobus and the creature set off, they came upon a cross high on a hillside. The devil shook with fear and hid his face. We must turn back, he said. And Reprobus said, why are you afraid? The devil replied, this cross belongs to Christ, who is even more powerful than I am, said the devil. Then I shall seek this Christ and serve him, said Reprobus. So he wandered across the dry desert until he came upon an old hermit who lived there. Do you know of a great king called Christ? Reprobus asked. The holy man smiled gently and began to talk about Jesus Christ. He is the son of God and the greatest king of all, the man said. Tell me how I can find him so I can serve him, said Reprobus. You cannot find him, the hermit said. You must pray and Christ will find you. But Reprobus said, I don't know how to pray. And the hermit responded, stay with me and I will teach you. Then you will be told how best to serve Christ. So one morning, the hermit said to Reprobus, on the other side of the desert is a mighty river. Many have perished trying to cross. Go there. 
because you are so strong and tall, carry all who ask to the other side. Then I am sure Christ will reveal himself to you. And Reprobus went. He built himself a hut beside the fast flowing river and carried many people across on his strong shoulders. One stormy night while he slept, Reprobus heard the voice of a child calling, Come, Reprobus, and carry me over. He looked out into the dark and saw no one. It must have been the wind, he thought to himself. Again he heard the voice, and again he saw no one. The third time that the voice called, he went out, and there on the banks of the river stood a child. Reprobus, carry me across the river, the child said. And so Reprobus lifted the child onto his shoulders, took his staff, and started to wade through the stormy waters. The river began to rise, the water churned, and the current grew stronger and stronger. As Reprobus struggled to cross, the child on his shoulders seemed to grow heavier. The further he went, the higher the water rose, and the heavier the child became. But Reprobus pushed on even though he feared he might drown in the storm. At last, Reprobus reached the other side of the river, and he set the child down. You put me in great danger, child, he said. You were so heavy that I felt like I was carrying the whole world on my shoulders. Reprobus, the child said, not only were you carrying the world, you were carrying the son of him who created it. I am Jesus Christ, the king whom you have been serving by this river. From now on, you shall be known as Christopher, bearer of Christ. And to show that you serve me, set your staff in the ground next to your hut. Tomorrow, you shall see it flower and bear fruit. After that, the child vanished, and Christopher did as he was told. The next morning, there in front of the hut, Christopher found his staff sprouting leaves and flowers and bearing dates, just as the child said it would. Well, from that day on, Christopher lived a holy life. He became the patron saint of travelers, and his image was placed in many churches. People would go and pray before his image and say, Behold, St. Christopher, go thy way in safety. Wow. That is the story of how we got our patron saint of travel. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great week. I'll look forward to seeing you Sunday, somehow or another. Take care, and I miss you very much.